Hello, welcome to module number three, breaking down type two diabetes, the science, the strategies, and the success stories. This module is designed to offer extensive knowledge specific to type two diabetes that will help you manage symptoms and look for potential warning signs. To begin, we're gonna go back to those definitions we mentioned in module one and give you the recommended ranges for your lab values. If any of the following terms are confusing to you, module one can offer you some clarity as we go through these terms in detail. So if that is the case for you, make sure to go through module one before going through this module. The associated lab values of an official diagnosis of diabetes include fasting plasma glucose tests, hemoglobin A1C, lipid panel, and urine tests. As we said earlier, the fasting plasma glucose test measures your blood sugar after an eight hour fast. Normal blood sugar levels for this test read between 70 to 99 milligrams per deciliter. A result of 126 or higher indicates diabetes. Again, the hemoglobin A1C test measures your average blood sugar over the last two to three months. The higher your blood sugar average is over the past two to three months, the higher your A1C level will read. A normal reading is 5.7% or less. 6.5% or higher could indicate diabetes, but for most individuals diagnosed with diabetes, an A1C of 7% or less is a good goal. A blood lipid panel measures different kinds of lipids, aka fats, in the blood. These include cholesterol and triglycerides. High cholesterol and triglyceride levels are often associated with a diagnosis of diabetes. As your lipid panel elevates, so does your risk for developing heart disease and other diabetes-related complications. Ideal levels for these are as follows. Total cholesterol, less than 200 milligrams per deciliter. LDL, less than 100 milligrams per deciliter. LDL is what we call the bad cholesterol. This form of cholesterol is more likely to cause blockages in the arteries. HDL, we're shooting for above 40 milligrams per deciliter. This is the quote unquote good cholesterol, helping to keep arteries and blood vessels clean. We don't want an LDL level of zero necessarily. We just want HDL to be higher. Levels for triglycerides are less than 150 milligrams per deciliter. These are literally molecules of fat floating around in the blood. The more triglycerides you've got floating around in the blood, the greater your risk for chronic diseases. Urine tests are used to test for glucose and ketones in your urine. The goal is a reading of zero. The presence of glucose in urine indicates that blood sugar levels are too high. The presence of ketones in your urine can indicate a dangerous condition called diabetic ketoacidosis. That's a mouthful. We've created a worksheet attached to this section titled Medical Management to help you compare your most recent blood work to these recommended ranges. This is a useful worksheet to keep handy as you work on implementing diet and lifestyle changes to see those changes in your lab values. Now that you know a little bit about some common lab terms and the ideal values, you can move into understanding why these are important to monitor and get under control. 